Oh, welcome to Club Paradise. Uh, today is going to be different. I usually make my videos, but I want to try to review an album. I like music. I like critiquing music and, and stuff like that. So this album, they said that he changed his flow. So he's going to get a point for every time he doesn't change his flow and when he does change his flow. Hey, man, that one just wasn't it. He get a point. For the old flow on this hood. No stopping no nigga like me. 24 times to the point to where he messed up and in between he said, no, 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 ain't no word. He said, I turned piss into lemonade. Turn into sugar. Call that chocolate pudding. Genius cannot explain that. Kobe, um, shout out, so rest in peace, Kobe. The hook. Nah, you can't even go fishing with that hook, man. Garbage. But for me, the track, the hook just kills the whole track for me. And the lyrics, like, no. Next. This song sound like a straight interlude. Like, it sound like the rest of the album is loading. Like, it, it don't sound like it's just like, you know, music just to put in between times to kill time. That's what it sounds like to me. The song itself, the couple of times how he rap it sound like Offset. Ironically, Quavo is on the track, but Offset should have been on the song. It doesn't sound like an Offset track. Which the baby sounded good, Quavo sounded good, but at the same time, it sounded something for Offset, really. Zoo Kid, the Kahoo Kid, him. Wait a minute. You. I ain't got no problem with that. That's cool. He get two points for old baby and new baby flow. All in all, this song sounds like a loading. It's like a loading screen for an album because the rest of the album has not downloaded. So it's a cool song, but it sounds like an interlude, you know. And then it's a minute. So a minute, minute tracks are interludes, straight up. We're only two weeks into this damn thing and I'm ready to give up! Point for old flow. In the little music, it's just like the first one. And it's amazing. It sounds just like the last one. It is really about nothing. This song right here, he 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 got me. He got me with a with a line that he said. Um it's with me, she turned into a light sketch. Who you think he is? Chris Brown? <laughs> Some move on it. That's good. Always on other people's tracks. I mean, he sounded, okay, the only memorable line that I have from him is, he said he cuts his sleeve off and it remind him of wanting suicide on a plane, on a jet. My favorite lines that the baby said was, word to Jeannie, she shaped like a bottle. This is the selection of bottles that I found and I mean, if that's your type of woman that's built like that. This track, the hi-hats was the only thing that was really off beat. You can say add Blue Face Baby in the song. Um, this track really wasn't memorable. Uh, wouldn't be something I'd listen to back and forth. Get points for new sound, I guess, but this is nothing I'll listen to again. Only thing is the lyric when he said his mama teach him about how to use a rubber. Show me, show me. I heard you got a girlfriend. You know how to use this. What's that, my boy? I know you ain't in there trying to teach that boy about that rubber. That boy shooting duck water. I hate that title. I really do. Don't ever name something how you want people to feel. You know, it should be unexpected. You shouldn't have your title as something you want people to relate to. Uh, I don't I, I can't explain it, but I really, really hate that title. Given the fact that during a song, he kind of brags about and think he does a good job at making the song sad, which is not. Because the first thing that happens is when you play the song, 
You here. Wait a minute. Who are you? That'll ruin your mood right there. Your mood. And he's trying so hard, like he's like really singing. And he sounds like future. I don't like future. You know. And what I got from the lyrics, the like the first verse was something about a girl who's missing the baby and don't like the life that she's living right now. I want to get back with the baby. You can't feel bad for her. Really don't care who she is. Um, I don't know how to be sad for her, you know? And verse two really just killed the mood because he came in strong. Back in it. No. No. You, you turned up and you lost me. I can't be crying to that. I, I can't cry to that. And even in the track, he asked himself, he said, why you coming so aggressive? You know you messed up doing that. Then the part he come in and he sing his heart out. I can't cry to that. Me. Can't do it. Can you? I can't imagine crying to that. The end is just so ridiculous because again, he come back in the track and was like, I told y'all I'm finna give y'all something sad, man. That's crazy, dog. Look what I did. Look, I told y'all I gotta give y'all something. It wasn't sad. And I guess he get a new point for a new flow. At the end, you didn't deliver. You didn't make me sad. Wait a minute. Who are you? If you ask me who I am, one more time. See, this track actually sound like this should have been sad. It had more of a softer flow. Um, he sung lighter. When he actually sung, he actually sounded good. And like himself, he talked, he rapped lighter. Even when he turned up a little bit, it still was a little soft. So, yeah, this should have been sad shit. That's sad that this song is sadder than the other one, and it's not a sad song. He has a new flow, that's point. And uh, yeah, at the end, he cusses us out. Next. This is honestly a really relaxing song, point new flow. But I swear, if Rodney Rich's name wasn't put on the the track's title, I would have thought it was Young Thug. Then he mixed it a little bit with NBA Young Boy. If you listen to the song, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So Rodney Rich get two points for stealing two flows. I like the song, that's by top three. Top three, I like the song. So. Next. Almost top one. No, no, no. Number one in my top three. NBA Young Boy sounded like he had a he had a whole lot of fun. He didn't even sound like himself. Sound like he had more energy in him. Even when he turned up on his other albums, this song just made his voice sound different. He carried the hook. Um, his verses when he came through. Hey. My boy was sweating a lot. You know, I know my boy back her from carrying that song. Um, NBA, uh, uh, not NBA young boy. The baby did good as well, but he get a point for rapping like him old self. You know, it was perfect for NBA young boy. You know, it's, I don't think nobody else could have did it. But for the music video, NBA young boy has bad coronavirus practicing habits. He takes his mask off full palm on his face and take the mask off at least twice in the video. But the baby doesn't get an excuse. Okay, but all in all, the track really sounded good. It's one of my favorite tracks, number one, if I have to say. I'm gonna say it again, um, if I didn't say it the first time, the beat, I really, 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 really like that beat. This is a straightforward song about him coming up and how he grinded and Finally made it to where he's at it. He got a, a new flow, so that's a point for his new flow. But this is a straightforward song. It's just about him coming up, um, you know, one of them coming up from the trenches. And, you know, it's not a bad song. It's listenable. I like it. Wait a minute. Who are you? Please, please. No! Now, the song with A, Boogie with a Hoodie. The baby starts off the song saying that his voice is a little messed up 
and coughs a little bit. <clears throat> Remember that picture I showed y'all of the baby? Okay, so I'm starting to ask questions now. Coronavirus! The hook on this song is good for fishing. It's good. You can go fishing with that hook. And all jokes aside, he sounds really good. He has a new flow that's point. Um, and I'm not really a huge fan of A Boogie, but on this track, he actually sounded good. But <sighs> your boy sound like Young Thug, man. And that's really close to the end of his verse. He sounds all the way straight up like Young, excuse me, like Young Thug. It's a good track. I like the track. I most definitely listen to it. That's like number two for me. So yeah, next. Whoa! Oh, somebody! Oh, he God. needs some milk. Wait a minute. Who are you? This is not a good tag for a producer. Now, one thing about having a title. Uh, your track as the same name as the album title and you messed the song up your boy had the first beat and I was okay with it, it sounded like Mario like Mario beat, but I was okay with it and then the beat switched and he had said that the beat was gonna drop and he was like, let the beat drop and the bass line just kicked in so I'm still nodding my head like, okay about to turn up, whatever he didn't deliver Cause when the beat, the first beat played, dun, 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 the beat switch, and then it switched back to the old beat, and he's bragging about switching and rapping, and look, I don't even want to talk about this track no more. First of all, old flow, you know, um, you you let the album title no. You never do that with a song. If you have a uh, your album title. As a track title, you got to execute. The devil is a fucking liar. Uh, that song wasn't it. When I first heard the baby's line, I felt like. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Woo. And the, the goofiest line that he said was, he would put her legs behind her head like a pencil, pick her up and slam her. Then made a sound of it. <clears throat> I couldn't listen to this when my windows rolled down. I had to roll them up and, you know, I had to just change the song. I had to change the song. Made the stay and she sounded like she usually do. She didn't sound bad, but I'm not a fan if I don't listen to her. But um, the baby tried way too hard on him. He tried way too hard on this track. And look, that's not nasty. That's the case. The hook, the baby, 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 baby hook is from the Ashanti song, baby, baby, baby. Um, it sucked here. It was corny. And again, tried way too hard, way too hard for me. Another hook that you couldn't go fishing with. I skipped the song, I didn't even finish it. Um, again, Meg the Stallion. Talk nasty, but it's natural. The baby tried too hard. He was saying a lot of stuff that uh, um, get him arrested. I hope they find no girl, no dead body with no legs behind her head, looking like a pencil. Um, he's just gonna be another case of one of these rappers going to court, being associated with something because of his rap lyrics. So, you know, yeah. And he gets a point for an old flow. The sound effects in this song that the baby was making, just cringy awkward again i can't raise my windows down listening to that song the song right here was another interlude this was another song and it feels like again after this song after this minute song there's going to be a couple of more songs at the end this was not perfect to put at the end you have to have closure like a movie you got to have a, a ending champion would have been a perfect song to put at the end. You know, it set the mood to be like, all right, this is the end of the journey. Putting this track at the end of the album is not good. Cause again, it, it sounds like there's more songs loading. Just like I said earlier, you know, you don't end the song with an interlude. You don't end the album with an interlude, which there might be a deluxe album. Hopefully you don't end the deluxe with an interlude. No, I really didn't like this song. 
It didn't make me feel no type of way after hearing it. Um, I didn't feel like it was over. That's an old flow. Amazing Grace is another um, coming up from the trenches song about how he came up and um, it's amazing, you know, by the grace of God. Still don't like the track. And this another one, sound like a, a, a loading screen for albums. I have to give the album a 6.5 out of 10. It was a fun album to listen to. It wasn't great. Not every song I attached to, but um, the interludes really killed me. The features was okay. I really like A Boogie with a hoodie and I like um, Rodney Rich. They were good. Future, not so much. Um, Meg The Stallion was her. I really don't listen to Meg The Stallion, so didn't really do nothing there for me. But yeah, it was about nine. Ah. It was six songs with the new flow, six songs with the old flow, and one song that had the new and the old flow, which made both of them seven. So he barely changed his flow. All in all, the album was okay. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, welcome to Club Paradise. Uh, subscribe, like, share. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. If you disagree or agree with me, or you have something else that I missed, and um, yeah, hopefully I get good feedback. I'll continue to do more album reviews, which I keep trying anyways, and I try to get into movies, and I also continue to do my skits. Follow me on Instagram at a, at, at, at Club Paradise, right here. Um, that's for more smaller videos that I make, and uh, yeah, bye.